Today I want to talk to you about your potential. Now you might have lost sight of what your potential was. Maybe somebody along the way told you you no longer have potential. Somewhere along the way you thought, well my life is not what I thought it was going to be. My injury, mental injury, physical injury, whatever is now holding me back. I'm now this victim. I can no longer reach my goals. People are out to get me. I'm worthless. My life is now worthless. I will never reach the goals that I wanted to reach because of what happened to me, because I'm now this victim of society, this victim of somebody else's abuse. Yeah, that's all a bunch of bullshit because life isn't holding you back. You are holding you back. The bad things that happened to you in life, yeah, they, they might've been bad. They might've changed your goals, but that doesn't mean you still can't meet them on a different level. You aren't completely broken. Your life might've be changed. You might have a physical or mental trauma that happened that changed the person you are, but you can take the good out of what, what it changed you, the wisdom that you've gained leave the excess negativity behind and move forward as a better person establishing new goals see the thing is that every second counts and those seconds that you think that you think tore you down they counted and you can make them count for a good reason or a bad reason you can say that you're this victim and your life is over and you're no longer gonna be able to reach your goals and you're not gonna be satisfied in life and your life is some kind of a waste. But that's just you feeling sorry for yourself because the potential is still there. I can tell you because I'm just talking from my own experience. There was a time that I was putting shingles on a roof every day and just pulling them off and putting them back down. And that's hard work and there's some fulfillment in that, but it wasn't where I wanted to be. It paid good money and it provided financially, but that wasn't where I wanted to be. Now somebody might wanna own a roofing company and great, because that's their goal. My goal was something different. And I put, those, I put that hammer down left that job, became more educated in the fire service and became a firefighter paramedic. And yeah, maybe I made less money, but it was fulfilling to me. I reached that goal because that's what I wanted to do. And I was already married and had kids and I had to go back to school, but you know what? That's what I did. And next thing you know, I'm going through a, a working structure fire or working horrible accidents in the back of an ambulance and do those things provide me additional stress in my life yes but they gave me a fulfillment from a goal that i reached fulfillment from the activity i was doing that nothing else would have and now i'm not able to do that so it's very easy for me to think that my life may be worthless now i can no longer provide that i can no longer walk around the station with 45 pound dumbbells as part of my workout while I'm in my full gear doing an on-air workout. No, I can't do that. I have an injury and I have things going on where I can't do that. But you know what? I can set other goals. And today the simple goal was grabbing a couple of three pound weights and a couple of one pound ankle weights and putting them on and taking my service dog for a nice walk outside. Go home plan for my future goals where I can eventually get back to doing whatever goals they are that I reach and those goals aren't going to be putting on a big weighted vest because I've been there I've done that I've learned from that I was blessed with that opportunity and you need to learn that whatever happened in your life blessed you with your opportunity it gave you whatever it gave you whether you thought it was bad or good you find the best that's in it, the wisdom that it gave you, and you stop feeling sorry for yourself, and you set some new goals at whatever level. The end of my life isn't just walking my service dog with some three pound weights. 
that's just the spot I'm in right now. And the goals that I'm setting for the future have nothing to do where I am today. So if you're sitting at home thinking that your life is over, it's not. Realize that you can get off your ass and do whatever it is. Kind of on a rant. Thanks for watching. Don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on your life. Realize your potential is just sitting there. You can fucking walk over and pick it up anytime you want. See you next week.